Hello guys, this is Power Home Palakuka 14 and today, since there was this earthquake a few days ago, um, I would like to talk about my experience with earthquakes. Now, these experiences, some of them are just tiny earthquakes that didn't that I didn't even know were were part of earthquakes and some of them Yeah. So let's get to it. My first earthquake I ever lived was um, back when I was like about six years old. I was that small. So there was this earthquake in Mexico, but it was kind of small. It wasn't that big. It was kind of, I don't know. My mom just got really scared. She was in the restroom and then, and then my mom said, there's an earthquake, get out of the house. And then I'm like, what? What's an earthquake? And then it's like, when the earth moves, I'm like, oh. So then I run out of the house. Like, I just run like flash. And then what happened is that the earthquake just randomly stopped. It was like, like about for 10 minutes. And then it just randomly stopped. It was just like a small earthquake. Nothing really that big. My next earthquake was at school. But this earthquake was just um, practice, as always. But it was kind of a tiny bit an earthquake. So what happened is... Eh! Sorry. What happened is that it started moving and then the alarm sound. And then I was like, I was like, oh man, is it an earthquake again? So then I started running like flash out. I just ran like flash. I know I said I ran like flash a billion times, but I don't care. So I just got out of the classroom and I just went down to the stairs to the class A spots. Luckily, I was the first one. I was I kind of liked earthquakes. I kind of didn't, but then there came the next one. Well, the next one is kind of funny. The other one is so. This earthquake, I was sleeping. And I thought that, and then I randomly almost fell off the bed. I saw that everything was just moving, like something like this. Everything was just randomly moving. And then I, I thought my house was haunted. I'm like, oh geez, no, ghosts are real. And then my mom just randomly just rushed in the room. And then she said, there's an earthquake, Bella, get out of the house. And then I'm like, first let me just get out of my dog. So I got out my dog. And then and then I, I told my grandma that there's an earthquake. But my grandma was just laying down saying, nothing's going to happen. She's just laying down, sleeping. Oh, jeez. My dolls, my Wonder Woman doll keep on, keeps on falling down. That's embarrassing. So, my my grandma was just in the floor like, uh, and I'm like, well, get out of the house. And then my mom just told me to ignore her and then to get out of the house. You want to save my life like a good mother does. And then, randomly, and then randomly the earthquake stopped and I'm like, that was, I, uh, I, it was like about 8.1, I think. That was the level of the earthquake. So I got my dog out and I was starting to sleep with my dog because I was afraid she sleeps in the bathroom. Yeah. And then I started to think like, oh, geez, what happens if, um, what happens if, if it happens again? Oh man, so I just started to sleep with it. I was just, I couldn't sleep since that night. I couldn't sleep, I just couldn't. So I just got up, randomly just looked at some books, then told my mom, mom, I can't sleep. So then my mom told me, go to your room and do and try, and try to go to sleep. I'm like, okay. I tried to go to sleep, but I couldn't, so I got the iPad. Time for the next earthquake. Now, this one was a nightmare. It was the end of the school day. We were just about to write our homeworks. We were this close. Let me show you. We were this close. And then the earthquake, the earthquake fell just started. And then I messed up, but I was like so scared that I took down 
everything. I literally just bonk the. Just pretend this is um, a pencil case. And then I just now went like this. Boom! It just fell down, and I took and I took my pencil down to the earthquake, and that's when the earthquake started. Luckily, now I'll pick that after the video. Luckily, I had a rubber band, so when the earthquake started and I fell, I didn't just go like. <sighs> so I, sorry that I had to put that in. So I put this in, I twisted it, and back in. So I ran back down, and then the earthquake stopped. It was just a 10-second earthquake. That was very tragic. I'll tell you what happened after the earthquake. So, the earthquake was... Um, very tragic. I was praying, even though my school wasn't Catholic, I was like, God will be with you, because so many people were crying. Then, after that, one kid, all, there's always one kid that has to make me cry on the earthquake, even though I never cried. There's always one kid that puts me to a negative thought, and he was like, where do you live? Because that's where the earthquake is the most strong. And then I'm like... Then I started to get very worried. I thought my dog had died. My parents and my mom and my grandma's car had crashed. And I was just, it was just like a mess. I'm like, mom, mom, get me out of this school. I, I started to cry and then everybody was like, don't worry, you'll be okay. And then, th then they just said, there's no homework. Everybody was just crying. And I'm like, who cares about the homework? I only care about my parents' life. And then, sorry about all the yelling. <laughs> um, and then I just started crying. And then when I finally saw my mom come in the school, I just ran. I rushed to my mom. I jumped on her. I think I knocked her over. Sorry, mom. And then I knew that they were okay. So then the lights were completely off. There was no internet. <gasps> there was no internet. There was no water. There were no lights. So then when it was nighttime, I tried to turn on the light switch so I can just use my iPad. It had 100% battery. Phew, so I can play Minecraft. But then I got bored. So I just decided to draw and do stuff. But then when it was nighttime, I couldn't. Then I was walking out and I met and I knew someone from school, Paulina, Paulina. Actually, she was from my class at my school and then we lived in the same neighborhood. So we decided to have a play date one day. And then It was nighttime. Todavía no, espera, no se puede parar ya. So it was nighttime. And and then there were these people saying, we need flashlights, we need blankets. And I'm like, what do you need? Flashlights and blankets. I'm like, oh, I could probably get my seven light bulb flashlight. So then they were like, that would be great. That would help the, the children that were buried under one of the school. Sadly, some of the children died. <laughs> but at least my flashlight did help a few of them, if they ever did. Well, I donated my flashlight, and I kept a cheap one, Spider-Man one, that worked well, so we had to get another one, which was way cooler. You can put it on your head like a little mind. Well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the earthquakes. So after that, people were just on the news. I couldn't sleep. Me, the maid, my grandma, and my dog slept. How do you say it? Slept on the living room. Yeah, we slept on the living room. Just in case there was another earthquake. My dog was perfectly fine. Then, there was the next earthquake, which was super small. It was a day that I thought it was going to be the end of the world. Because I watched this thing that just got me traumatized. I'm like, what if it's the end of the world? But I just noticed that it was every single year. Don't worry, it wasn't the end of the world. So, there was this tiny earthquake, the, the alarm just sounded, and I'm like, oh my god, it's the end of the world! And then, it, the, my mom's phone said, earthquake alert, earthquake alert, and I'm like, it's the end of the world. And then I just got out of the house, I'm like, 
uh, Granny, 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 there's, there's an earthquake. And then I just got my dog out and I rushed out of the house. So then, um, well, I didn't rush out of the house quickly. Uh, I, I needed some evidence that it was an earthquake. And I saw the chandelier moving. It was moving. And then I just got out of the house, hoping that I wouldn't die today. And then... <laughs> And then, and then, yeah, that was my experience with earthquakes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I didn't scare you a bit too much. Uh, if I did, sorry. Well, thank you so much guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Do it with your nose. Or your pen. Or your clay. Anything that you have that's, that you can do it, try to give it a thumbs up. And also do that with the subscribe button and turn on notifications. And remember, get